Hi, this is Pam Morin, Creative Memories Independent Advisor, and I am working on some pages, um, trying to use up some of my paper, and um, right now I'm working with the Snowbound Collection, and um, I created this layout from the Creative Memories Virtual Crop that happened the last weekend, and this was one of the layouts that was featured in the virtual crop. And I love this layout, um, this pattern called Bricks. Uh, it, it just gives the page such a cool look and you get to use a bunch of different patterns on the same page, which I love. And I love the how it coordinates um, with the collection and with using a variety map packs. So everything coordinates um, you're using up paper um, and you could use this layout very easily for any kind of um, scraps that you have left over from any of your collections. It, um, it's a great way to um, use up paper and have a great look. So this is the layout that I created from the virtual crop. It is a two-page layout and this layout you have the bricks on either side of the page. So on the right side of the two-page layout they're on the right side of the page and on the left side of the two-page layout they're on the left side of the page. And I just love that look because it gives it a flow between the two pages. Um, it looks um, beautiful and it's so easy to do. So that's one of the layouts that I've done with the brick pattern. Uh, the second one is uh, instead of doing it on the side, I decided to change it up a little bit and do it on an angle in the corner. So here in this layout, I have it on the left corner of the page, on the left side of the layout, and then on the right side of the layout, I have it in the upper corner. So I just love the way that turned out. And again, I'm using up paper from, and this was from the Emerald Gemstone collection, and I'm using up my uh, variety map packs from that collection as well. So I'm excited to find some pictures to go on this page, which I'm sure I will. I'm thinking this would be great for my grandson's album. It's got a space kind of look. So, or for camping, uh, I just don't know. It's, it's this collection, the gemstone, emerald gemstone has very versatile and I've used it for camping and grandkids and my yearly albums. So it's a great collection to use. So I just love the way that this turned out. It's really pretty. So I wanted to show you then how to do, how to make this, um, pattern and it's so easy. So I'm, I'm working now with, um, a retired, um, collection called Spring Medley, but still I've got my Emerald Gemstone is what I'm using as my pattern. So I, I like the way that the, these colors coordinate together. So the first thing that you have to do is decide which patterns you want to use, and you need four different patterns for your bricks. And then you want to cut your patterns into one inch by 12 inch strips. So you'll need to do that um, for each side of your two-page layout. So you'll have four uh, strips for this side and four strips for the other side. And then once you get your 12-inch strips cut for all four of your patterns, then you're going to take those patterns and you're going to cut them into three-inch squares. And it's real easy to do on your trimmer. You can just stack them up and cut them together. You don't have to do them one by one. Just line them up with your three and cut all of them into three. And by the time you're done, you're gonna have four sets of four patterns. So that's what I have here laying here is everything that I've cut up. So one inch square and then cut those one inch squares to three inch to, in order to get all of your bricks for your pattern. So these are the ones that I've cut and they're ready to go. Okay, so I've started at the bottom of this page just to give us a little bit of a head start here. 
laying them out. And that's the first thing that you want to do is you want to lay them all out and uh, make sure that you like the pattern that they're in. You know, you want to stagger the different patterns. You don't want to be right next to each other so that you've got, you know, a good variety. Um, you want to do, you know, just a little bit um, distance between each of them so that you can see your background paper so that you've got that effect going on as well. So you notice too, um, I started my bottom row on right on the paper and then you know I've got some hang over here and you're gonna have that because you wanna stagger, uh, bricks are staggered so you don't want them to be one on top, stacked one on top of each other so you wanna stagger where they are. So you're gonna have some paper hanging over and that's fine because you're gonna need that paper to fill in other spots. So let's keep going then and let's see what we have here so that we like I said we want to stagger where they are we want to stagger the colors so I don't want to put this one here because I've I've got that color right there so let me sneak a green here so that's looking good and then maybe I need to do another one of these here so that I'm not having those right next to each other. And then I can stack this one here and so on until we have all of our rows done. So we can put that one there. This one will go right here. Okay, and then I can sneak a green one in on this end. And then one more over here. Beautiful. Okay, and then you're gonna just uh, start adhering them down to your paper. So, you can use repositionable tape. That is always great when you need to move your papers around a bit. It makes it a lot easier for lifting them up. And again, I'm just leaving a little bit of space in between each of them so that we can get a little peek of that light paper behind it. Great way to use up scraps of, of collections if you've got um, pieces here and there from different collections. Be sure to join the Creative Memories Virtual Crop Facebook group. It is such a fun event. It's held the second Tuesday of every month. And you get such great ideas. You see everybody's um, pages that they've done. So not only do you get an idea from the sketch provided by Creative Memories, but then you also see people's finished pages of that sketch. Um, and it's so much fun. It's so cool to see how interpretations are so different. And then you get ideas from, from their interpretations. And I've got some of these crooked here. Straighten this up a bit. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so now you see that once I have everything laid down, I do have paper hanging over the edge. So we just need to trim that off. Please post uh, any questions or comments, you know, let me know what you think about this layout. Let me see the layouts you've done. I would love to see your interpretation of these. Um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I would love for you to um, take a look at all the videos that I have out there and I have more to come. Now I just wanted to mention it's real easy to trim this off with my 12 inch trimmer because I've got these sight lines. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but 
these plastic pieces that slide up and down the track here um, have a black line in the middle of them and it shows you exactly where your blade is cutting so it's so easy to get things lined up and cut precisely so I've got those I've got it lined up well so I can trim off these papers here perfect and then I just need to flip it around and do it on the other side and you have sight line at the bottom uh, and the top, uh, below, above and below the um, blade mechanism. So it's easy. You've got one down here and you've got one up here. So no matter if you're line, where you're lining your paper up or where you need to cut, uh, you've got that sight line available to help you cut exactly where you want to. Awesome. There we go. Such a pretty, pretty pattern. I just love how colorful it makes your pages look. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel to see all the great videos um, that I have out there and many more to come. This is such a fun pattern to do. I hope you enjoy it. And leave me your comments. Tell me, tell me what you think about this. Happy scrapping, ladies.